So it's Milan. We get us underway playing left to right in the first half. This is Yanogi. Severini back to Madeline Yanogi. Nice work between those two. Players arriving in the centre now as well. Severini and a good save by Giuliani. Well, it was a well worked opening for Fiorentina. And Severini, who's already scored a couple of goals this season, not too far away from her third of the campaign. Dumpik is coming short here and takes it from Mascarello. It didn't quite work out for Milan there. In danger of being caught out here. Bonfantini has Yanogi in support. Here's Madeline Yanogi driving towards goal, the sweep. A chance to make it 1 0. And there it is! Well, a swift counter attack. And Madeline Yanogi finds the net. Milan had committed players forward for the corner kick. And that didn't work out. Fiorentina took full advantage. A swift counter attack. Nice ball inside by Agnese Bonfantini. And a very, very calm finish from Madeleine Yanogi for her third goal of the season. Fiorentina have doubled their lead. Slight question as to whether it's a goal for Agnese Bonfantini or an Evelyn Egia OG. We'll see it again. No doubt to... Didn't look great, but that's a really good positive bit of play from Coy Vista there. Here's Sofia. And she's managed to dig out a really good cross. The goalkeeper has missed it, Fischer-Strand. Vista shot, cleared away by Breitner, or by Ersen rather, and now it's Janogi. Once again, Fiorentina looking dangerous on the break. Bonfantini was offside, Ersen wasn't. The uh, finish though didn't match the build up, unfortunately, for the Slovenian. That could so easily have been 3 0. Maybe should have been. Hasn't had too much to do in the Fiorentina goal. That's a sloppy ball. Severini. Second pass from Severini. And a chance here for a third for Fiorentina. But Emma Snirla just overran it. It's going to be a goal kick. But that was all Milan's making. One poor pass at the back. Almost punished. That's a lovely turn by Snerla, really nicely done for Severini. Good ball in behind as well from Severini. It's found Yanogi in the centre, the shot from Yanogi just too high. Almost 3-0. And again, that swift sweep forward by Fiorentina, causing Milan all sorts of problems. Evelyn Ija again, substitute, Aragoni, a real chance here, and there it is! Super goal from the substitute, Georgia Aragoni, and a perfect start to the second half for AC Milan. Swaby coming forward, Evelyn Ija, Piga, all players that Mascarello can aim at. Goalkeeper got there, only as far as Renciotti. Now Aragoni, oh! It's deflected over the top by Severini. And that was goal bound, that shot. Yanogi. Shrevi with a heavy touch and a chance here now for Bonfantini to make it 3-1 that's good goalkeeping again by Giuliani she's made some very good saves in this game Laura Giuliani that really should have been 
Phil with the free kick. It's too close to the goalkeeper, though. An easy take for Giuliani and quickly bowled out there to Angelica Sofia. That's a good ball by Sofia as well. A really good ball to find Aragoni into the area. has gone down. No penalty. Chance is still there, though. And the shot is saved by Fiskerstrand, but the offside flag is up against Dolpig anyway. Dashing forward for Milan. Kosiewska. EJ. Nice ball out to Renjotti. Into the area. Monica Renjotti is side netting. Good ball forward to EJ, and a lovely ball in behind from EJ, and that's surely a penalty kick, it is. Well, I did suggest there might be more drama left in this game. Ayrton dangled the leg, Renzotti went down, and the referee pointed to the spot. Koshevska's penalty is saved, on the rebound, she scores! It's 2-2. Well, Fischerstrand made a very good save, but it fell kindly to the Polish striker on the rebound. And she wasn't going to miss a second time. So two substitutes have made a huge impact for Milan in this second half. Aragoni with the first goal, Karszewska with the second. And with six minutes remaining, it... That's Marinelli's header. Aragoni dispossessed, and now Fiorentina have players forward in numbers. Johans Dottir, Janogi is wide. Johans Dottir with the shot just wide of the target. She's given it away to Marinelli. Is there going to be late, late drama here? Well, Filangeli with an important interception there. Still time, maybe, for one last chance. Longo. Fiorentina fans urging Bonfantini forward here. It's a dangerous cross, and Yanogi, oh, what a chance. Sofia with the block. Vero shot, blocked by Swaby. It's back with Yanogi again. And again, it's Sofia with the block. With that, maybe, just maybe, the last chance of the game. It will be a corner, and there will be time to take it. Severini's corner to come. Piga got her head to it. And there was a raised boot there. And that's the last action as the full-time whistle blows on a pulsating game, which finished 2-2.